Hi, I'm Dr. Sonia Danoff, and I'm a senior medical advisor for the Pulmonary Fibrosis Foundation. I'd like to talk about the three to five year life expectancy statistic for pulmonary fibrosis that's often mentioned. Many people search the internet when they're first diagnosed with a disease, and I understand why. You've just received some scary information. You've maybe never heard of pulmonary fibrosis or interstitial lung disease before, and you want answers. While the internet can be helpful, it can also give you the wrong impression about your disease. For example, if you search for interstitial lung disease or pulmonary fibrosis, one of the first things you may see is that life expectancy is three to five years. That is understandably alarming. And while that statistic may be true for some, it also may not be an accurate prognosis for you specifically. There are some important things to know to better understand the context for this information. First, this three to five year statistic was observed in early data from people diagnosed with idiopathic pulmonary fibrosis, which is just one form of pulmonary fibrosis. There are many other types of interstitial lung diseases, so it's important to know exactly which one you have. Treatment, management, and prognosis varies amongst these diseases. And for many diagnoses, the prognosis may be much longer than three to five years. Second, even if you do have idiopathic pulmonary fibrosis, life expectancy statistics apply to the overall group of people living with the disease. This is often reported as median survival, which means some patients will live longer than the median survival, and others will not live as long as that number. The most important thing to know is that median survival does not predict how long you or any other specific person will live. Some factors that can influence life expectancy are when you're diagnosed within the disease course, your lung function at the time of diagnosis, how you respond to treatment, as well as any other medical problems you have, which we sometimes call comorbidities. Third, the reported median survival of three to five years for idiopathic pulmonary fibrosis was established over two decades ago, and the care of patients with IPF and other interstitial lung diseases has changed considerably since then. For example, earlier detection of pulmonary fibrosis due to increased awareness or increased use of CT scans for other reasons, like lung cancer screening or cardiac CTs, fewer surgical lung biopsies in favor of chest CTs and cryobiopsies, and the availability of antifibrotic medications that slow down disease progression. Research is ongoing for improved treatments for pulmonary fibrosis, and we're looking forward to the day when new medications can further slow, halt, or even reverse disease progression. The bottom line is this, no statistic can tell you how long you will live with pulmonary fibrosis. Your doctor may be able to tell you how much your disease has progressed to date, but it's very difficult to accurately predict how someone's disease will progress into the future. If you have any questions about your diagnosis or prognosis, the best person to talk to is your doctor. For more information, reach out to the Pulmonary Fibrosis Foundation.